tragedy in Nevada. A medical airplane carrying a patient and their family member losing contact and crashing. And now confirmation no one on board survived, including a nurse, paramedic, pilot, and of course that patient and family member. Air traffic control trying to reach out multiple times, even asking a nearby flight to keep an eye out. News Nation Stephanie Haynes live tonight with the details. Stephanie. Natasha, that's right. There are no survivors and the identities of these victims have not yet been released as they are still working to notify all of the families involved. But tonight we are learning more about the weather conditions during that flight, as well as hearing from air traffic control about the moment they lost contact with that plane. Take a listen. We lost her contact on a medevac flight about five minutes in front of you. Uh, lost radar, they're not answering. Um, you can monitor. We lost radar contact about 50 miles southeast of the Mustang VOR, southeast of Reno. So let me know if you, ha you hear anything. The NTSB is sending seven investigators to that scene right now to investigate the cause. No word on the cause of that crash, but we do know from the National Weather Service there was a winter storm warning going on in the mountains. There were wind gusts of 65 miles per hour in near whiteout conditions and overnight temperatures dropped as low as 18 degrees. The medical flight was carrying five people, including a patient. It was taking off from the Reno Tahoe International Airport last night and headed for Salt Lake City. Utah. Calls about a possible plane crash came in a little after nine and crews discovered it two hours later. In the air traffic control audio, you can hear controllers try to reach the plane multiple times and ask another flight to keep an eye out. In a statement, Remza Health says it is heartbroken and focused on helping its team members and families. The company provides emergency transport throughout the Nevada and California area, often in tough terrains and high altitudes, regardless of weather conditions, according to its website. The NTSB is taking over that investigation and will have a press conference tomorrow. According to data from the agency, there have been more than 100 medical flight crashes in the past 10 years, and at least a third of them have been fatal. Natasha. All right, Stephanie Haynes, thank you so much for that report. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.